Many black South Africans have benefited from affirmative action programs meant to redress the inequities left by apartheid. But the issue is not just black and white. Citizens of Chinese descent also suffer discrimination under white minority rule. And our court has uh, heard their calls for justice. And Kapila Mabuse reports the ruling has sparked outrage in some quarters. And also because of the family. Journalist Daryl Lacone is ethnically Chinese. He says that's the only connection he has to China. His great-grandfather arrived in South Africa in 1911 looking for work nearly a hundred years ago. Four generations later, the Kony family is still here. They consider South Africa, not China, their true home. During apartheid, Daryl, like other Chinese, was classified as colored and like all non-whites, discriminated against by the then repressive and racist government. The Group Areas Act, the Mixed Marriages Act, the Immorality Act, and a whole raft of other acts all apply to Chinese and, you know, to, to my family under, uh, under the old South Africa, under apartheid. So it was extremely restrictive in terms of how you could live your life, where you could live your life, and how you could make a living. So help me go. With the dawn of democracy in South Africa, affirmative action policies were enforced, reserving jobs and business opportunities for those who were previously discriminated against. But South African Chinese say they weren't able to benefit from the policies because after apartheid, they were regarded as whites. The Chinese Association of South Africa took the matter to court and won. A high court ruled Chinese South Africans are to be classified as black, now able to benefit from the country's economic empowerment and the Employment Equity Acts. But only a fraction of the estimated 200,000 Chinese in the country qualify because the law applies only to those Chinese who were South African citizens before 1994. It is estimated that only 10,000 can benefit from these empowerment laws, but still some black business people are outraged, arguing that Chinese South Africans did not contribute to the struggle for democracy and did not suffer as much as they did during apartheid. But for Daryl and others, the court ruling is a victory. They insist that their court challenge was about more than economics. It was about a need to belong. Nkepile Mawise, CNN. Johannesburg.